A 160 foot thick unconfined aquifer is penetrated by an 18 inch diameter well pumping at the rate of 1,875 gallons per minute. The ground is underlain by an impervious stratum and steady state drawdown levels in the pumping well and in a monitoring well 775 feet from the pumping well are 65 feet and 35 feet respectively. The average permeability of the medium in the aquifer is most nearly A. 65 B. 120 C. 140 or D. 265 Pause the video and we'll take 5 minutes to solve the problem. Have you finished solving the problem? Let's see if you got the correct answer. Today we'll talk about unconfined aquifers. Another reminder from episode 18 is that an aquifer is a body of saturated rock through which water can easily move. Aquifers must both be permeable and porous and include such rock types as sandstone, conglomerate, fractured limestone, and unconsolidated sand and gravel. Unconfined aquifers are those into which water seeps from the ground surface directly above the aquifer. Its upper surface, the water table, is open to the atmosphere through permeable material. As opposed to a confined aquifer, the water table in an unconfined aquifer system has no overlying impervious rock layer to separate it from the atmosphere. Unconfined aquifers form at a quicker rate compared to confined aquifers. This is because they are in closer proximity to water sources from rain, streams, or rivers. By contrast, confined aquifers are fed by underground tributaries. So this problem, we are looking for the permeability of this unconfined aquifer. The equation we'll be using is the following, where Q is the flow rate from the aquifer, K is the permeability in units of distance per unit of time, H2 is the distance from the bottom of the aquifer to the second sampling point, and H1 is the distance from the bottom of the aquifer to the first sampling point. Similar to episode 31, our first sampling point is the pumping well itself, so we will use the radius of the pumping well as R1, and R2 is the distance from the pumping well to the second sampling point, which is the observation well. Before we start plugging data into the equation, let's ensure that our flow rate is in units similar to the rest of our data, which looks like units of feet, as well as the desired units of our final answer, which is in units of feet per day. So we can do a simple unit conversion for our flow rate to match these units, and we get a flow rate of 360,000 962.6 cubic feet per day. Now that all of our units are consistent, let's quickly solve for our other pieces of information. H2 is the distance from the bottom of the aquifer to the observation well, which is 125 feet. And H1 is the distance from the bottom of the aquifer to the pumping well, which is 95 feet. R2 is the radius of the pumping well, which is 0.75 feet and R1 is the distance from the pumping well to the observation well, which is 775 feet. We can now plug our data into this equation, and we get the following. We can solve for K, and we get 120.8 feet per day, which is closest to B. Join us for episode 34 of 52 PE exam problems in 52 weeks.